real baby I promise not to let you go Love you like crazy Say you'll never let me go 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 Take you away from here There's nothing but distance and space <laughs> <laughs> I fucked it up. <laughs>
Rude Boy came out and I said I hope this goes to number one because I love that song that much that I thought it was number one worthy. Because mm -hmm. that's how much I love the song. And I think Rihanna comes out over and over and over again with great party dance songs. That when you go to the club and you hear a Rihanna song, you're going to start dancing. Even me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, somebody like Rihanna, I don't expect her to make an album full of California King bands. You see what I'm saying? Because California King Bid is a great ballad. But do you really think Rihanna's going to make a 12-song album like California King Bid? Hell no. Mm. Who's going to buy that? Because we are so used to seeing Rihanna do those great dance songs. that it's like, when she comes out with a 12-song California King Bid type of album, it's like, nobody's not going to really buy that. And if you think ain't nobody going to buy it, they damn sure not going to go to the concert. <laughs> they damn sure not going to go to the concert. I mean, I, I I think if if Rihanna wanted to take a risk on one, if she wanted to challenge herself, I think that she probably could. Do now that like. is an album you could call risk. That's I think, a no, risk. I think that Beyonce is taking a risk. No, because, I don't think she's taking a risk because Beyonce singles, is doing something that we all know she can do. And eventually, I mean, first of all, first and foremost, I don't want to stand like a stand, but at the same time, did did people honestly think that Beyonce was going to keep coming out with songs like B? I mean, albums like B Day. I mean, come no, on, no, let's no, be no, 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 no. They don't all have to be like B Day, but. Okay, you, when we expected our first single, we're, we wanted to hear something fresh, something new. She came out with Run the World. Everybody like, what the hell is this? You know, we already know this beat, and then you're just singing over top of it. You didn't make the song better. The video was hot, and you had to make a hot video because that song was not hot. And now, like, it's a song like, when they come on in the club, I dance to it now because, you know, I'm already in a drunk state of mind, and I'm having a good time. It's Beyonce. And then, you know, we expect them to hear, we hear in the time, and then, you know, we think she's going to do that in American Idol, and then she does one plus one. Now, that was another risk coming out with one plus one. Hey, it's the damn summertime. People want to be in that summertime mode and hear songs. They make them want to have fun. They go on the beach. They go into the club. They're going to have a good ass time. One plus one is not a song you want to turn on or a song you going to want to hear. Well, in the so time, then she switched it well, to. Go in ahead. the time when American Idol came out, that wasn't in the time. That was best thing I never had. No, so in the time, in the time was on was out before best thing I never the had. The second single was best thing. I before never had. she named it a single, in the time, the whole song had leaked. Okay, the but, the, song who, but who, told, who said that she? But what I'm that? saying is that should have been the single. When, once it came out, it was already being called the single, and then they switched it to best thing I never had, and. It's like she had a lot of songs that could have been. A I know, but best thing I never had is kind of like irreplaceable a little bit. Yeah, okay. It's like irreplaceable. It's like irreplaceable. We still haven't got a video for it yet. So now I'm like, girl, I don't want to see the video. Give me end of time. Give me end of time. And now that she's performing and stuff, end of time is one of my favorite songs. Now that's a song that I like, and that song is different for Beyonce because she got horns, she got drums, she got all these different beats going on, but it's so decent, and it's like, you just want to have a good time to it. But that other stuff, I'm just not, I just I just wasn't feeling it for singles. But the album as a whole, the album is still pretty good. Well, her good. single choice for this hot album was horrible. Like, yeah, Wonder World was not a good single choice. Mm -hmm. Best thing I never had, like... Like better songs, she's she's, le she's showing a snippet of the video tonight on Pierce Moore. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think now that after her performance of End of Time last night on the BT Awards, I think a lot of people are just so eager to see that that you know. But I mean, the album doesn't have that many dance tracks on it, any day. No, way. it doesn't. So but it's they, like there are great songs. <laughs> yeah, they're great songs. Oh my God, I care. When she is singing with that goddamn guitar, and because I can't do it today, but yes, when she's doing all of that, the song itself is just hot. I love my favorite tracks are I Care, Love On Top. Love On Top, I love that one because it's like, it's like the song, you think the song is going off, but every time you think it's about to go off, her voice just gets higher, and then higher, and then higher, and then it cuts off. <laughs> that one. Oh, so you're saying Rihanna could do that? What? <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, Mikkel. No, it's a joke. <laughs> it was a joke, Rihanna fans. End of time. End of time is probably number one. End of time is Your probably. Your favorite song? Yep, on, on that whole CD. Countdown. 
Let me tell y'all something. I was in the club. I want to have sex to Countdown. Sorry, oh, Beyonce, I but have... I, I do want to have sex to that song because that song gets me real sexy. I just feel Countdown is a song to me that I wish I was in a relationship so that I could say to my boo, uh, I'm all up in the kitchen even though I can't cook in my bands. <laughs> up under him, <laughs> it's cold. When the time, do everything. Me and my. That is not no sex feet. song. Child, you can make any song a sex song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can make I care a sex song. No. I care. I don't even think it's a, a sexy song on there. Like you could be real into. Oh, uh, well, on her bonus track, her bonus track, "Dance for You." Now that. A sexy song. I haven't heard Not only is that a sexy song, tracks. but that reminds you of an old '90s R&B sex song. Like it's just so decent. I can't wait until people hear that particular song. Even though a lot of people already heard it, but when I was sent that song, somebody sent me that song, and I was like, "Hold the fuck up! Who? What is it that Jay Z's putting on Beyonce? Because he's putting something on her ass. Mm-hmm. He's putting something on her ass because she's." School, school and life. That's that's a decent song too. I ain't hear that. I have again. I haven't heard the bonus tracks yet. Two songs I could do without on that whole album because I don't think they mesh well with it. Is I was here and run the world. They just don't go with that album. I was here. It just makes Beyonce sounds like she's fifty, and this is like I'm about to retire and I was here. Like girl, you got so much left. You have so much left. That song don't even need to be on the album. Run the World, we all know about that one. So, you know, it's still it's still going to be, everyone's probably going to buy the album. I told Mikel last week that I'm going to change my prediction. I was saying around 200,000, I'm going to probably that up was, it Well, to, that was you being shady, so I didn't take you serious. I'm Nobody really it, took you serious when you I'm said I'm going to up it to 300,000 or less. We all know you I'm up being it to that. No, I was serious. You were being shady. Because I'm still. You were being shady because you would laugh. Ah, I'm going to say. Nah, nah, nah. You were being shady. <laughs> well, girl. I was born at night. Where is the American promo be? It's this week. Yeah. I mean, come on. Don't do that. Okay, she got what? The, um, um. What? Friday. Okay. It was Friday. Good morning, America. She got Good Morning, America, and then she has. The Macy's Day Parade. It's not a parade. It's what a fireworks situation. Um, Macy's Fireworks Program. And that's it. Like, that's kind of weird. Actually, Beyonce. it's not it because somebody sent me the um, calendar. Stuff. Yeah, that's not it at all. I was about to say. Cause She's doing a lot of stuff during the summertime. But. That's cool. Look, either you're going to buy it or you're not going to buy it. You know, I would rather you buy it and then talk shit. You know. What are what are your favorite? I know a lot of y'all done heard it already because it leaked a month ago. But what are your favorite tracks from the album? You know, you know what's your favorite song? Or did you like the album? Did well, you, you didn't ask like me what the my album? favorite songs was. But well, you I didn't say anyway. it. My favorite song off the album is "I Care." Mm-hmm. Um, after "I Care," I have different favorite songs, so they're not they're not going to be in order. But "Countdown" is another favorite. One plus one is a favorite. Best thing I never had. Now let me just say this. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When Best Thing I Never Had first came out, I liked Best Thing I Never Had, but I wasn't like, ah, I love this song, I love this song. It was only after I started seeing clips of her perform it live over in France that I really started liking the songs. Because when she performs it live, she kinda it's like she almost slows the sound down a little bit. It's not as fast and upbeat as it is on the record. Like she kinda slows it down and she's really it's more about her vocals when she's performing it live. And I just love the way she sings that song live. So best thing I ne- never had is another favorite of mine's now. Uh, mine. Sorry, I said mine. Mine. Um, uh, end of time. I can't wait to see her perform that live. Come on, baby. Come and get it. Show me what you love. Let's go. Let's go. She was, did you see her channel on Michael Jackson when she was doing the little thing? I think that whole song channels Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. I love it. It's my favorite. She song. really. It reminds me of a. It reminds. Mama say, Mama saw me, Mama saw. Mama say. I ain't even uh, think of uh, that. Uh, that's what it reminds me of when I hear it. It reminds me of not. It doesn't sound like it. It just reminds me of that whole feeling. Cause I could so if I could so see Michael Jackson if he ever made a video to that particular song, him just going off like, and that would have been so hot. Unfortunately, he's not here, but that would have been so hot. Cause that is my favorite Michael Jackson song. So, four comes out 
today. Because today, today is Tuesday. Today, I said today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Today. If I said tomorrow, this video today. is being uploaded June 28th. Today. You know, so let us know how you feel about the album. If you did an album review, you can post your album review onto this video. And we will see you with another video soon. Peace. Um, wait. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Beyonce, I love you and I can't wait to see you in on Friday at Good Morning America. And if you are in the New York City area or you're in the New York City, wherever you live near New York, Beyonce is going to be performing on Good Morning America at Central Park Friday morning. So make sure y'all get there early so y'all can see her, okay? Oh, yeah, and I'll be there too. I still don't know if Kevin's going to be there, but I'll definitely be there, okay? So if you see me up there, you can speak. If you don't want to speak, you don't have to speak, okay? But, you know. Well, just don't snap his picture and say, I, I seen you, but I was afraid to speak. You know? Oh, yeah, don't snap my picture because I'm going to be scared. You know, Mikel used to getting snapped anyway. Without him knowing. Oh, but that's, yeah. another, that's, that's another That's story. another video. <laughs>